The Raft River Research Site is at the center of a large expanse of invasive cheatgrass. Studies at this site will provide increased understanding of how rapidly cheatgrass transpires winter stored water during springtime and from what soil depth. This understanding will help biologists, ecologists, hydrologists, and other scientists and managers to predict how cheatgrass may spread over the Idaho desert in the future. Understanding how it impacts the local ecology and hydrology will help them develop strategies for control. To better understand the water use behavior of cheatgrass, the NSF-funded EPSCOR research program has installed clusters of eddy covariance equipment. A central part of the energy balance system is the eddy covariance system that is comprised of a high-speed, three-dimensional sonic anemometer. The 3D anemometer measures air movement in all three dimensions at 20 times per second. At the same time, the anemometer measures the temperature of the air flowing through the instrument. The system then correlates the temperature of upward and downward flowing air parcels, called eddies, with their up or downward movement. A third component of the eddy covariance system is a fast response infrared hygrometer that measures both water vapor and carbon dioxide of the eddies as they flow through the system. Net radiometer sensors are deployed that measure separately the shortwave radiation from the sun and the shortwave radiation reflected from the Earth's surface. The thermal or long wave radiation emitted from the sky and the thermal radiation emitted from the surface is also measured. These sites have tipping bucket rain gauges for documenting amounts of precipitation, including snow. The Large Aperture Scintillometer System, or LAS, represents cutting-edge technology for measuring H, which is the sensible heat flux to the air. The LAS transmitter, shown here, transmits a shortwave infrared beam nearly one kilometer over the surface of the cheatgrass to a receiver. The LAS receiver intercepts the infrared beam. Based on how much the beam has been scintillated by the turbulent eddies of air along that path, the receiver produces an estimate of H along the beam's path. The above ground micrometeorological instruments are complemented by a number of soil sensors buried below ground. These sensors include time domain reflectometry systems that measure soil water content. Other sensors measure soil water potential and soil temperature. The soil data will tell us about depths and degrees of extraction of soil water by the invasive cheatgrass and other types of range grass at the Rafter site. This will complement the above ground measurements of evaporation and energy balance fluxes.